If you guys need help gearing up for any of the new content that was just added in Red Dead Online, check out G2A with the link in the description and use cashback code BOSS if you want to save a little bit extra as well. Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be checking out now the new and best weapon that you can own in Red Dead Online. It was the only one that Rockstar added yesterday, but in my personal opinion, it's by far and away the best weapon in the game. And I'm also going to be telling you guys about a secret feature that you might not have known about that makes this weapon even better. So before we can get into any of that, we obviously have to purchase the new weapon, and that starts us in Red Dead Online, and we actually have to go to the unique weapons uh, part of the Wheeler and Ross and catalog, and you guys can see there the Lamette Revolver is available to purchase for $317. Now the description for this weapon is the Grape Shot Revolver. We offer you a truly unique and innovative revolver from D&D Pack and Bush that has been coined by Calvary as the Grape Shot Revolver. This celebrated revolver includes a second 20 gauge barrel below, the first that fires buckshot. It is your choice. Fire traditional revolver cartridges, then flip a lever on the end of the hammer and dispatch a load of blue whistlers as your enemies scream out in terror. It is a favorite of cavalrymen in every direction. From frame to cylinders to stock, this special revolver was a fierce opponent during many an uprising and rebellion. And then it says twin striker modes, single action muzzle loader. The Lamette revolver is the short range winner. This gun is so well known, it is entirely pointless to go into a lengthy description of it. Compare with any model on the market. The Lamette has always had a good reputation for providing extra firepower on the battlefield or in the brothel. T. Byrne Russell wrote us to say, I had the unfortunate encounter upon a man who exhibited simultaneous traits of ignorance and confidence as he attempted to lose my horse from the hitching post outside the place of worship in which I was attending. A young boy took notice and I confronted the would-be thief who began firing a shotgun at me. We exchanged several rounds and my Lamat had gone empty when he charged and knocked me to the ground. Having full intention to kill me dead, then I remembered that there was a second barrel and having fired that, shot him between the eyes of great concern to his new widow. And then it goes on to say you could squander money on courting or other dissipations that will be your final undoing or you could order this unique revolver. It is just the thing to celebrate artistic incompetence by dispersing a sideshow or circus in a cacophonious manner. Or remove the indignant or indigenous and convince them of the errors of their ways. Once the enthusiasm of youth is lost, it leaves one to ponder over angry thoughts for hours the days of soldiering or sailing are done. The shadows long in November of his life. And should any histrionic hobbledehoy come trapezine through his holler, they will be met with the holiest of emotions. And it features exquisite detailing. This illustration is engraved by an artist and allows you to form a very good idea of the appearance of this high-grade gun. This gun is guaranteed to delight. Do not let anyone of ill repute persuade you into buying an imitation, as one day your life may very well depend on a genuine Lamat at a dark and unforeseen moment. And you guys can see the stats right there. Damage is at two bars. Range, two bars. Fire rate is about two and a half bars. Reload is about two and a third. And accuracy is about two and four fifths bars. So let's get on now to buying the Lamat revolver. And if you want to buy the Lamat revolver, you can obviously use cash. Or if you want to use gold, it will cost you 13 gold bars. So that's what I'm going to do. And once we've purchased it, we now have a couple of different things we can do. We have three components that we can change. We can start with the grip. You can choose ironwood, ebony, or pearl. Pearl being the most expensive. And I like that one. It gives it a nice shiny white finish. Uh, and you can purchase that for three gold bars if you want. From there, what I did is I lengthened the barrel and I also improved the rifling, which improved my accuracy and range. So I wanted to do that to make this gun as effective as possible. And then from there, I also added the improved iron sight. So now you can see my accuracy is all the way up to the fourth bar. It's like three and like one tenth. So really good accuracy on this weapon. And then for the style of the metal colors, I wasn't too sure what I was going for here. Basically, I made the barrel and the frame really dark. I made the cylinder and the hammer like this super silvery color and then the sight and the trigger 
gold. By default, this gun like shows off the gold tips of the bullets, I believe it is, or something along those lines. And so I thought that looked really good. So I wanted to contrast a little bit of gold in there, but I also wanted to have some darker colors too. And then from there, I wanted to do an engraving that looked really good. And I ended up going with the Baroque engraving in gold. And that was a really nice touch for this weapon. So all in all, I don't know how much money I ultimately spent on this weapon, but either way, I felt like it turned out really, really nice. Now, one thing you want to do for this weapon, because it is a revolver and shotgun, you want to make sure you have revolver ammo and shotgun ammo. So you want to make sure you have both on hand. And when you take a look at it in the inventory, you can see there that not only it has all the regular pistol rounds available to it, but it also has the shotgun shell rounds at the very end, which you guys can see there. So taking a look at the weapon here, I feel like this turned out really, really good just from a customization standpoint. I like the sort of contrast of white and black, and then the little hints of gold in there look really good in my opinion. So let's see how this weapon obviously works. So the first thing I was interested in is going from the shotgun to the revolver. And all you have to do is tap uh, right on the D-pad and it will actually allow you to toggle between the uh, shotgun mode and the revolver mode. So this is what it looks like in third person and this is what it looks like in first person. You can see that basically your character just flips the hammer down if he's in revolver mode and up if he is in sort of shotgun mode. So that's really cool. It's really simple. It takes about one second if you've got the bullets actually loaded up in there. And as far as how effective the Lamat revolver is, I think it's very effective. So obviously if you're able to land a headshot, that's gonna be a one shot, one kill. But I noticed that no matter what I was shooting, this weapon was always like a two shot kill. You know, if I hit them in the chest, it might knock them back. And then the next shot I hit them, no matter where it was, would really kill them. And remember, what's great about the Lamat revolver is it has a nine cylinder chamber. So you've got nine shots in there before you have to reload. So you can basically almost get five kills per time before you have to reload. And if you're able to get some headshots or one shot, one kills, that'll be even better. And as I mentioned earlier, flipping to the shotgun is incredibly useful because if you run out of bullets, you can flip to that in an instance and you'll actually have one shotgun blast that might save your life. Now, what I want to do next is talk about a secret feature that you might not have known about with the Lamat revolver. Rockstar actually added a new setting in this update that allows you to choose whether to automatically use the shotgun shell once the cartridges have been depleted and vice versa. So what you have to do is go under settings and then controls. And then once you're in controls, you want to look for automatic pin setting which is in the targeting and weapons category. And if you turn yours on, what this will do is, let's say you're firing your Lamat revolver and you go through all nine of your shots, instead of automatically reloading, it'll switch to the shotgun. So let's say you're in the middle of a heated battle and you go through all nine of your bullets. Well, you're gonna have one left that'll give you one final shot in order to get the kill. That's really effective. That means you won't have to switch on your own. It'll do it by default. Now, some people might not like that, but in the middle of battle, it might save your life. And remember, it's a setting that you can flip on or off. You don't have to do it. So that's something I found to be really, really effective. And not a lot of people probably knew about that. And in my opinion, this is just another reason why this weapon becomes probably the best in Red Dead Online. So how does it compare to all the other revolvers? Well, I certainly think it's the best. In my opinion, it's on par with, uh, you know, the damage, if not even better. It certainly has the most ammo capacity. It has a secondary weapon underneath it. So I would say any of the pistols, it's going to make it better. It's certainly more mobile than anything like a shotgun or a repeater. And especially with one of the newest changes that Rockstar ended up making where it's now much harder to get headshots. Weapons like the Varmint Rifle and even the Evans Repeater are not going to be as powerful, which means that 
it sort of improves the revolvers, especially the Lamat revolver. I'd say the only thing I noticed with the Lamat revolver that was a little tedious is the reload. The reload seems to be a lot slower than most of the other weapons in the game. And maybe that's just me, but I, I noticed that it was a lot slower, especially uh, compared to some of the other weapons I have, like the double action revolver, the cattleman revolver, uh, certainly the repeaters that I have too. So that might be the only negative that I've found so far. But again, you've got nine bullets. If you can't deal with whatever you're dealing with in nine bullets and then the, the shotgun blast, you're gonna be in trouble regardless of whether you have to reload or not. But anyways, that's all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today. That right there is sort of my review of the Lamat revolver and a secret feature that you might not have known about with this weapon that really does make it one of the best in the game. As always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about the Lamat revolver. Do you think it's a good weapon? Do you think it's just average? Do you think it stinks? Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. If you did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video.